I, I, I don't think it does. Um, or, or our structure today, it, um, it, um, the, the Disney itself does not cover, cover those things. Um, but I also am not sure it's so much a fault of economics as a failure of people to realize the limitations of every discipline. Uh, economics cannot answer all the questions. Um, and, and we therefore need to understand that economics is an economic theory is just one input, as I said, into a wider policy. Um, however, uh, there are hidden um, um, prejudices sometimes in the, in, the, in the manner in which we ask economic questions and in, in which we approach issues. So for example, there's um, a fundamental sense that oh, markets are good. There's, there's the fundamental sense that the price is um, a fair value. There's the fundamental assumption that um, if you allow the um, free markets to work and allocate resources, then the outcome um, is okay. Now, um, so to that extent, there are certain assumptions in economics that have been extremely damaging uh, in the, the richest, uh, the, the, I think the, maybe the two richest Africans today are, are from Nigeria. Uh, certainly the richest Aliko Dangote is from Nigeria. Uh, he's also from a state called Kano. And yet in that state, 77% of the population is living in extreme poverty. And Nigeria today has the highest number of poor people in the world. So how come you, you're producing the, the wealthiest African, but you're also the poverty capital of the continent and the poverty capital, poverty capital of the globe? There must be something fundamentally wrong uh, with, with, with the way economics are structured to create those kinds of extreme inequalities. And, um, and so to that extent, um, if those um, outcomes are a result um, of economic policy, then, um, then economics is somehow responsible for these um, social outcomes. And, and, and then the, you lead to all those issues about, um, uh, and of course, you've got malnutrition, you've got a lack of um, investment in education, um, so you've got um, huge infant mortality, you've got maternal mortality, you've got climate change. And is that really, um, it's, it may not be the fault of economics, but it would help if in designing economic policies, uh, we widened the horizon, we broadened our thinking to ask what are the implications of this on different social groups? What are the implications on different value systems and what are we encouraging? Um, I also think, the, the overarching um, focus on economics and financial status and, um, and, and uh, on what, is, what we can count has undermined um, other values. Um, for example, uh, why, is, why, why is it more important to uh, support an, an, an investment in a company than to support an investment in the education or the nutrition of the child. Now, it could be a drain on the economy, financial, in terms of financial outcomes, um, it could be a drain, but, but what value do you put on the human life? What value do you put on the happiness of the child? What value do you put on, on, on the welfare of the child? So do, what do we measure um, uh, when we say GDP? Um, do we measure peace? Do we measure stability? Uh, do we measure, people can be poor and, and very happy. People can be poor and very happy. They, they, they basically, um, beyond a certain level, um, money loses value for some people. Not everybody wants to be a billionaire. All they want is to be able to eat, have good nutrition, have an education for their children. And they probably are going to spend more time on religion, on uh, thinking, on philosophy, on the arts, uh, than on, um, basically hours and hours trying to earn more money that they're going to put in a bank. So in what way have we, by emphasizing all the time, reminding people that they're poor, they're poor and they need to, to get more, in what way have we changed the values of people, um, changed their sense of self-worth? How have we made it possible for someone who is a very decent person, who has high integrity, who is, um, uh, who, who, who has a high moral, moral sense, feels so worthless because he does not have um, a certain economic 
status, because that is the hierarchy that's encouraged by economic thinking. Uh, you feel inadequate because you don't own um, um, e um, eco economic assets. So um, I, I think we can, um, having had a basic knowledge of economics, um, also try to broaden, go back to being like the classical economists who are basically moral philosophers like Adam Smith, go beyond uh, um, economic questions. And I think that's what we've lost. I mean, many people talk about Adam Smith's wealth of nations. A few people talk about his theory of moral sentiments. And so, you know, the, the whole idea that um, a human being is not just an economic being, uh, but he's the totality and that economists need to understand that. I think that's what we need to get back to.